Hello and welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm going to be comparing a fake knockoff swing out Lagun table leg to a genuine Lagun table leg. And if you're new here you're probably wondering why that is. And well the reason is a couple of months ago I fitted a genuine Lagun table leg to Rebecca's camper van and during the course of making that video I promised my viewers if they gave that video a thousand thumbs up I would go ahead and buy a fake knockoff Lagun table leg to do a comparison between the two because the fake ones are considerably cheaper so that's what this video is all about because that video actually got 1400 thumbs up so for the 1400 of you that wanted me to go and buy a fake Lagun table leg here it is Right, so let's get this table leg out of the box. So we'll go over to Rebecca's van and do a bit of a comparison, see if there is any big difference. Um, is it really worth buying a fake one, saving around about £50, or should you go and buy the genuine article? Now this is a genuine Lagun table leg. And the one advantage over this style of table leg compared to mine is that it is height adjustable, whereas mine isn't. See, I can pull this up. Lock this little lever down here and it swings over my legs. So uh, let's get the fake one out and see if we can do a bit of a comparison just to see what they're actually like. Oh, it's going to come out. Oh, there you go. So this is the base plate that screws to the bottom of the table. We'll just put that over there for now so it's out of the way. I'd be really interested to see if they are interchangeable as well. And that way we'll know if there is any difference. Now I'll let you into a little secret. I used to be in the plastic industry. So I know a little bit about plastic moulding. Injection moulding in fact. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine all your faces just glazing over. And uh, that's exactly the response I used to get. If ever I went to a party and someone said, oh, what do you do for a living? I tell them I'm an injection moulder. You can just see their faces glaze over because it, yeah, it was the most boring job I ever had. But um, I did learn a thing or two. That's fallen off straight away. So this end cap has just fallen away, getting it out of the packet. That's not a good start, is it? This is kind of rubbery. Right, this is very soft and rubbery. So let's compare it to this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's definitely made out of different plastic. This is kind of soft. You can see this is soft, it's pliable, it's um yeah, it's like a hard rubber. I hate to guess what sort of plastic it is. Now the original one definitely a different type of plastic this is the Lagun one yeah so at first appearance is they look absolutely identical now I may be nitpicking here but you can actually see difference in the mouldings um, these little tiny round circles around this the smaller circles they're they're made by the ejector pin so when the moulding is inside the mould you have ejector pins that push the moulding out of the mould and by looking at those, I can tell that these were definitely made from different moulds. Right, so they are made in different factories. I can confirm that just looking at the plastic mouldings. Now, what about the aluminium? Yep, the aluminium is different as well. The Lagun one is nice and smooth. It's got this really nice, smooth, extruded finish on it. Whereas the knockoff one has got like a mottled effect on it. So they are definitely different, definitely made in different factories. I was kind of suspecting that they were made in the same factory, but they're not by looks into that. So that's that part. Let's take a look at the actual longest part, the leg. It's definitely different. <laughs> Very interesting. All right. Yeah. These are made from different moulds as well, definitely, 100%. Now will the fake one fit the original mounting plate? So I'm trying to slide this down and uh, yeah, it would go on now, but it, I don't think it would move very easily. 
yeah, I wouldn't want a full set on there, so they are different. They're not interchangeable, I would say. Right, so this is the mounting plate, a knockoff one. Let's get it out. Let's have a look. That's the backing plate. This is obviously stainless steel by the looks of it. Oh, it is the same size. That looks pretty much similar. It looks very similar. Let's bring it closer. So this is our original one, this is a knockoff one, I'll put them side by side. You can see they look very, very similar, but in fact they're not. If I get the original, oops, sorry about that, if I get the original Lagun leg, put it on there, you can see it is very loose indeed. So the knockoff one is definitely different from the original Lagun. This runner is a lot slimmer, a lot smaller than this one. Look at the difference in size of the two plates. These are the mounting plates. You can see the knockoff one is about an inch and a half smaller than the uh, original one. If I put it there, you'll be able to see the difference. And the profile, yeah, the profile is different as well. You can see that. If I move that around here. There you go. So although in the photographs they do look exactly the same, they are in fact, if I put that in the middle, quite different indeed. So let's take a little look at the handles now. Yeah, they look exactly the same. These, are, these buttons are a bit shinier, and again, these ones are more matte finish. So the, the knockoff one is very matte looking, whereas the Lagun one is a lot shinier. Um, I guess the pin, goes through the centre of the table, this part, this is what's going to take all the weight I guess on the pivot and everything. Looks pretty substantial, it is hollow, but it does, well, it's quite heavy so it's quite thick plastic. That goes through the middle of there. I think it's just a matter of getting a soft mallet and banging it through into this top piece. Yes, back in a minute, it's going to get a hammer. Got it. There you go, that's got it, it's in there now. Yep, that's nice and tight, that's not going nowhere. <laughs> Sorry about the banging noise. Right, so I guess all I've got to do now is uh, take my table out of my van and fit this and hopefully, just hopefully, I can raise it high enough to swing out across the top of my bed so that when I want to sit on my bench without the table I can just swing it over across the top of the bed and it's out of the way. Um, I suppose I should put all this back together first. <laughs> I don't think Rebecca will be happy if I leave it all in bits. Well here we are, this is my original table leg, this is what it looks like right now. You can really see the difference in this bend that gets in the way. So I can't actually sit right up to the end of my bench, I can only sit to about here which means all that room is wasted and it really is quite a tight squeeze when we try and get two people to sit at this table. And that's one reason I wanted to change this leg. And the other reason is because this handle sticks out so far from here, when I try and open this door, the back of the door actually hits that handle and I can't open the door all the way. Allow me to demonstrate. Ow! I mean, it's not a big deal, but it'd be nice if I could actually open this without it hitting that knob there. And with the Laguna table, because the lower profile, it should allow me to be able to open that door. Now the burning question is, is the leg long enough for the table to swing out across the top of my bed? If I mount that plate up as high as I can, and I guess pretty much level with here, will this be high enough? Does it clear my bed? I don't think it's going to, unfortunately. But the good thing is, this inspires me, or encourages me, I should say, even more to lower my bed a little bit. My bed is slightly too high, and I have to use a little stall to get into bed. And when I sit up in bed, I keep banging my head on the overhead lockers. So I've been meaning to lower my bed, so it's pretty much level with this, for quite some time. So if I do that, then my table will definitely swing out across the top of my bed. 
Right, let's get this one off. Fit the new plate to the side of here, which shouldn't be too much trouble. And then I can start enjoying my new fake Laguna table leg. Now included in the kit are these handles. And as you can see, there's, there's bolts going through. I need to remove this bolt and thread it through the hole in this leg. And what that does is, as you tighten this up, it causes a pinching motion on this and it grips the side, the runner. But the really nice thing is that you can put this bolt through either that way or that way, which means the handle can either go this side or this side. So just bear that in mind if you're assembling one of these, figure out which side you want your handle. So that's got a square head, round hole, you're wedging a square peg in a round hole, it's not going to come out anytime soon. There you go, it's pulling it down already without it even being attached. So that is it. That's going to stop that from turning when I tighten the leg up. So that leg now, it's quite difficult to do it if I'm sitting in this angle. Just got to line it up. There you go. And then I can twist this round. And if this handle was to end up like this, I can simply push that button and lock it down like that, which means it won't interfere with this door. <laughs> really simple to put together. I just wish I'd bought one of these to begin with. I really do. Why I didn't, I don't know. Oh yeah, I do. I know why. Because I was skint at the time. And money was tight when I was building this van. So, uh, it has literally been a case of making it better as time goes by. Now, have I buggered this up? Because that's pretty close. Uh, Pretty close to that. Hang on, we could have a problem here. <laughs> that is really lucky. This sticking out only just clears this back bit. I just want to mark this roughly where it's going to go and then put the table away as if it's stowed away and see where it en ends up before I actually screw it into place. So that will go round, this will go like that, and then the table will go over there, just to make sure that when it's in that position, it will actually stow away. Yep, that would be perfect there like that. It actually works out spot on. I'm really impressed with that. Right, so I know that's going to work. So now I'll simply take this off, flip it over, take this off if I can bit tight it'll probably loosen up over time flip that over and then screw that base to the base of the table well there you go that's all screwed in it's all bolted down and it works perfectly well now the main difference I've noticed is between this knockoff Laguna leg and Rebecca's original Laguna leg is that it is all a bit stiffer it doesn't move as freely as Rebecca's one and the height adjustment as well I mean this is actually undone and it's stayed now if I if this was undone on Rebecca's table leg it would definitely drop down it doesn't move that freely in fact I'm struggling to make it go higher yeah see how it you have to kind of wiggle it to get it to lift up and down. So what I'm going to do is uh, lubricate it with some silicon uh, lubricant. This is really meant for O-rings. Um, I bought this for my underwater camera case to lubricate the big ring that goes around the case. So Rebecca's one is definitely a lot more fluid. It's easier to move and adjust. Right, let's do lube it up and then see if it makes any difference. Well, I have to say, adding a little tiny bit of this silicon lubricant has made a massive difference. Just take a look at this. It swivels so much better, really free. I mean, so free, in fact, I must remember to tighten this uh, join up every time before I drive off anywhere, because that will definitely swivel around now and bang about. And the top spins quite freely as well. Not quite as good as Rebecca's, but it is quite free. 
and as for adjusting it up and down it's still a little bit notchy still a little bit tight and talking about Rebecca's original Le Gun leg her leg moves up and down really freely so I guess that's just a mark of quality talking about quality I guess time will tell if this is any good so I will do an update on one of my waffle on a Wednesdays in a couple of weeks and let you know how I'm getting on with this so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that update on this table leg now whilst this table leg is perfectly fine in my ratty tatty old camper van if you're building a camper van of a better quality with a bigger budget then definitely I would recommend buying the original Lagun table leg it's just got that little bit of better quality feel about it it moves smoother you can move it up and down easier so uh, yeah it all depends on your budget on which one of these table legs you go for and I will put a link in the description of this video to both table legs I'll also put a link to my Amazon storefront where you can find a tube of lube <laughs> and if you haven't visited my Amazon storefront it is well worth a look because in there you'll find all sorts of camper vanning goodies and I've also built a little section for Christmas ideas as well and Christmas is nearly upon us so there you go if you like this video please do give us a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel then please do consider subscribing and by subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell you won't miss my update on this Laguna table leg <laughs> thanks for watching ta for now